Well, hello everyone, what is going on? It is the Almighty Jeff, and we are here with episode 6 of Life is Strange. In the previous episode, we started up episode 2, Out of Time. Um, Max cleaned herself up after a day of hard work. Well, after waking up. And um, we figured out a lot about Kate's backstory. Um, more specifically about her depression and this video that's been leaking about. So we spoke to her about it, and we advised her to go to the police about when she told us that she was drugged and kidnapped. So, that was that. Alright, so we've just started this little section. We're just going to look for all the notebook stuff. I've never stuff. seen Samuel wearing shades. And what's with this other crap? Oh, it must be a later. It must become a thing later on. Except for this, maybe. I can see that Samuel's concerned, but does he need a poster? Hmm. How did Samuel get photos of Rachel posing? That is odd. We'll have to talk to him about that. Alright, um, no, I believe... You... How hard is it to dump the trash into a bin? But I could use this to attract squirrels. You could use this. Release the Kraken. Come on, squirrel. It's time for your 15 minutes of fame. To get a photo up. So I'm going to back up a little bit. Come on. Come, buddy. Go get the food. Go on. Go get the food. Go get the food. Oh, you adorable thing. Go here, you. Yes. Another Pulitzer for the portfolio. Oh, what a cutie. Alright, there we go. So that is another one. So that's two. I think this is the last one I got before I will start getting the achievements. Which is cool. Alright, let's go ahead and speak to Samuel. Hey Samuel, you're up early. Oh, hello young Max. I do love the early morning. Everything is so calm and quiet. And I can feel the animals waking up with me. Animals. That's one thing I truly love about Arcadia Bay. It's all those cool animals in the forest. The squirrels always come in the morning for food. I can hear them whisper. Yeah, right, creepy. What animals do you see in the forest? I saw a doe. Don't laugh, but I saw a doe that seemed to be looking right at me. Like it was trying to communicate. Oh, that's your spirit animal. Nothing weird there except you saw yours. Could be a sign about your destiny. <laughs> what do I know? My spirit animal is a squirrel. <laughs> uh, Rachel. Sorry to pry, Samuel, but why are there photos of Rachel Amber in your shed? I'm curious about her. Sorry to pry, she says while prying. Now everybody wants to know about her. Uh, you know her? So did you know her? Like I told the police. She was a good egg. And she gave me those photos. Oh, you talked to the police? Rachel wanted to be a model. Yeah. She gave out headshots like squirrels chasing food. Keep on prying, Max. Sounds like you have a lot of time on your hands. <laughs> All right, snow. So, what did you think about that freak snow shower yesterday? Another message from the Earth to get our shit together. I will say that Samuel hasn't seen anything like that before. I so don't want to get in the way of your morning ritual. See you later. Of course you will. Okay. Done with you. Alright. There's Taylor. Let's speak to Taylor. Hi, Taylor. Hi, Taylor. Just because you were nice to Victoria doesn't mean I have to be nice to you. Let's not fight. I don't want to fight with you or Victoria. Instead of smack talk, let's just talk, for once. You're funny. Well, I'm not doing anything at the moment, so talk. Kate's video. Kate is really upset about the video. All this gossip is cruel. Boo hoo. That's what happens when you preach to everybody about sex. She'll live. Victoria? Why do you hang out with Victoria? She's pretty mean to you and Courtney. And she's bossy too. Look, you don't know her. I do. And she's one of the best friends you could have. Bossy best friends? I guess I've had mean, bossy best friends too. Better than having mean, bossy parents. I would love it if my mom was mean or bossy instead of sick. But whatever. We've had our talk. Alright. Let's try Hi, that again. Taylor. Hi, Taylor. About your mom. I've heard that your mother was sick. I'm so sorry. What what happened to her? 
Well, if you do care, my mom had back surgery. Victoria was there for me. Like you are for Kate. I'm not about tearing people down, Max. I know. That's why I wanted to talk. I'm glad we did. Hi again, Taylor. Hey, that wasn't such a bad talk. We should do it again. See you later. Ah, oh, see you look. It's nice to be nice. Oh. This is Nathan's father. This is a message to let you know that attempts to slander or blackmail my son will be met with many lies and legal ramifications. You're not the first first student at Blackwell to try this. I hope you're the last. Consider this a final polite warning. Hey. Dickhead. Hey, Warren. Max, check it out. How you doing, buddy? Warren, what are you doing here? Well, nothing. Waiting for a call? I mean, I already took the call. Anyway, I wanted to rap about that action yesterday. Uh, yeah, thank you. By the way, thank you for stepping in. You were pretty badass, Warren. I owe you. Oh, yes, you do. I got knocked on my ass by that dick. I'm some personal superhero. You're a real everyday hero. You stood up to a bully, and it was awesome. Even though you left me with said bully and ran off with that girl, <laughs> she's pretty punk rock. How do you know her? Uh, Chloe Price? An old friend. Chloe Price? We haven't seen each other in a while. I bet you were glad to see her blast up in that truck like a rock star. Which begs the question, why is Nathan Prescott getting psycho on you? I busted him. I busted him in the bathroom yesterday with a gun. I'll give you the story later. Principal Wells is taking care of it now, I hope. Weird fucking week. Like that bizarro snowfall yesterday. Speaking of dystopia, that drive-in is having a 70s Planet of the Apes marathon. Let's go ape! Let's go ape. Hell yeah. Yes, that's exactly what I need. I love those old school ape films. Well, that was easier than I thought. Cool, I'll text you the info. There we go. Yep, so Warren's taking us out on a little date. Good for him. Cut some slack in it. Alright, let's go take the buzz. Let's go meet Chloe at the diner. Alright, so um, I know this, sec this section coming as a music section without any sound, so... But it's a nice track. It's that one that I was thinking of the other day when in, she was playing David the guitar. talking to Nathan cannot be a good thing. This has something to do with Kate. Or Rachel. Yeah, it'll play the music and I'll just, I can't remember what it was called, but the one that Max was playing on the guitar in episode one, so... Yeah. But hey-ho. Hey-ho, let's go. So, yeah, obviously this will take us about halfway through. If I remember how long this episode is, like all the sections to come up. And we've got quite a lengthy section with Chloe coming up. Uh, so we go to the diner, then with Chloe, and then back to the academy. I think we're obviously not going to say anything about what happens, because spoilers. Don't you know that? Some light, that's who it was. Yeah. Cross, no, no, yeah. Crosses is the name of the song, yeah. Yeah, that's the one. I'm not gonna keep switching words now, it was Crosses, I remember. Alright. So, yeah, so it keeps focusing on that lighthouse, doesn't it? Because obviously, it's a major part of the game so far. It's kind of the lighthouse where the tornado was. I think the section's almost done with now. I think it was um, that this the songs that they feature in this game usually, um, you know, what, what's the word? Um, when it tells you what's going to happen before it happens, how can I remember what the word is? Foreshadow, that's it. 
the foreshadow some of the events that will happen sometime in this episode. Like talk about going back in time. The diner looks exactly the same. The that verse that was just cut off from before when Max took out the headphones. That that final verse does foreshadow pretty heavily what happens at the end of this episode. Uh, don't you go looking up though. You gotta make it a surprise. Hi, you look lost. Close. Do you know if the bus has come yet? The online schedule isn't working. Um, I just got off. I just got off the school bus, but I'm sure the regular bus is coming too. Oh, that's a relief. <laughs> I can't be late for this job interview. I can't believe I have to take a bus all the way to Newport just to find a second job. Are things that bad here? Where are things good? I can't even afford to live here. Well, good luck. Thanks, I sure need it. Right, so yeah, so you can see obviously the backgrounds people. No time for chit chat. I'm a millionaire. Yep. Got my lottery ticket right here. Waiting for the bus so I can cash it in. <laughs> Good for you. Running like grog beer that the dynamo mom will feed you. Somebody better. I'll be lucky if you make it by noon. <laughs> alright. Uh alright, you got flyers. Cool. Look at all these Save flyers. It's so sad that nobody will read them. We're still the lifeblood of Arcadia Bay. Alright. Good morning. Looks like you're ready to catch some serious fish. I wish, young gal. Arcadia Bay just isn't the same fishing town I grew up in. Has the town changed? Has the town changed much? By Neptune's beard it has. Seems like a lifetime ago when I was king of the harbor. You did good? You did pretty good to have lasted this long. Oh, the fish used to jump onto my boat until the Prescotts and their finance fiends snapped up harbor rights. Prescott family. The Prescotts have a lot of power. They might rename the town Prescott Bay, if that tells you much. Uh, do you, do you know them? Do you know them? Do good for my working kind. But I know them through their bad deeds. Let's not get downcast. I hear the fish calling for Bali High. Never forget that old fishermen never die. We just smell that way. <laughs> I'd love to learn more, but I have to get going. Happy fishing out there. I think I've talked my quota for the year. <laughs> Alright, fair enough. Right, there's that RV. Look, the I'm so dirty window. Obviously nobody took my advice. <laughs> Alright. There's that dirty RV from the other day. He's a doggy. Uh, stop that. Stop. Don't bark. Yeah, they were in the, um, that little section of the end of... about that guy and his dog. They were in the end of that episode, weren't they? When uh, they were doing the flashes across the, um, different people. Newspaper. I wonder if they explained that snow. Mm. Excuse me, sir? Can you believe this town? The world is on fire, and our big headline is snow. I can hardly wait for next week's big story. Clouds! <laughs> um, the snow was odd. The snow was pretty odd. It was right in the middle of a warm, sunny day. Oh, global warming bullshit. It's the Northwest. Snow happens. I keep reading how Arcadia Bay is booming. The paper can only talk about that or about missing girls. Rachel Amber? You mean Rachel Amber? I guess. I bet she ran away because she was bored. Who wouldn't be here? Okay. Excuse me. I have to read my horoscope. He's a bit of a dick, that guy, isn't he? Alright. Let's do some more investigating. Hello. How are you doing? Hello. Oh, look at you. A fine example of youth. I bet you're a senior student. Yes, I go to Blackwell Academy. I could tell you're a wise young woman. I know all about Blackwell and this town. Uh, Joyce Price? You must know Joyce Price from the Two Whales Diner. She's fed me more than my own family. How's a daughter your age who's always in trouble? Married to a real prick. <laughs> David Madsen? His name is David Madsen. He told me to get a job once, asshole. Not sure what Joyce sees in him, but he better treat her right. Uh, Prescott family? I bet you have dirt on the Prescott family. That whole family is dirty. 
They once done good things for Arcadia Bay. Those days are dead, like anything in their way. I know somebody who's being threatened by a press card. Then you be their guardian angel, because nothing gets in the way of that family, especially not the law. Hell, they own your school, Blackwell. Almost. Arcadia Bay? How long have you lived in Arcadia Bay? A thousand years. I've gone through the same changes as the town. What happened? What happened to you? What didn't happen to me? Sometimes you start out in life turned around the wrong way. I married dumb, made mistakes, got cheated out of my savings, lost my home, and now I hang out here. Oh, so I'm sad. I'm sorry. Have you ever lived outside of here? Where the hell would I go? I hate the sun and love the mist. I might be homeless, but Arcadia Bay is still my home. I have to go now. Goodbye. Come talk to me any old time you want, young lady. Yeah, so that should be an example to people. Don't just pick on the homeless, you know. They have stories to tell and, you know, sometimes their situation isn't their fault. Alright, um, this is a full top over here to grab the dog. Screen thing. I don't know why it keeps doing that. But that should be our... I should get an achievement for that. Yep, there we go. Image stabilizer. So there we go. We're finally picking up achievements. Um, so, yeah. There's another one outside which is the whale's tail. I almost forgot about that one. Alright, so you just need to look up sign right, how do we get the photo up just keep a look out for the things to show up oh there it is very nice alright cool processor all right, let's head on in. Man, that smell of breakfast and the sound of clanging silverware mm, makes me feel 13 again. All right. oh, that brings back memories. Chloe and I loved the parade. All right, so there's quite a few um, notebook entry stuff and people to talk Good to in here. Lord. Talk about apocalyptic. So, just gonna check everyone out. Did you catch any big ones today? If by big you mean none, then sure. I caught a lot of big ones today. Now let me mourn over my eggs. Alright, chill out. Still mourning. Thank you. Hello. Hello there to you! Such a beautiful day, eh? Oh yeah, it's gonna be a super day. Enjoy your breakfast, eh? <laughs> Canadian stereotypes. Like you do. Alright. This guy has serious coronas. Okay. Why does that so not sound fun? I might make Chloe check this out with me. Okie doke. Again, uh, just pause if you want to read what this you thing says. You never know how weird this town is by these postcards. Yeah. T shirt. Best burgers I can anyway. I would buy a shirt, but they're so damn tourist. Oh, get out. Uh, the poster doesn't mention whacked students with guns. Yeah, for a good reason, I think, Max. Kate Marsh, love you long time. Love you long time. That's just harsh. Flush before pissing on floor. That graffiti has been here forever. <laughs> Rachel A owes me a BJ, so does your mom. Gross. Alright, there's another photo up here. Yeah, the fire walk with me. All right, there we go. That's compressed. So I think we've done um, four in one episode. It's very cool. All right, so we got um, three there that are in the next section, and the last two are back at the academy. I remember now. Acadia Gay sucks deck. Thank you, redneck poet. Okay, hey dude. What do you want? I feel like shit. Too much beer. So spare me, please. Just let me suffer quietly. <laughs> Hello. Hello, sir. Hi, young lady. You look a little lost. Hungry. Just 
hungry and thinking about what to eat. Now that is a real problem at the uh, Two Wells. I can never decide. Joyce's pumpkin pie or grilled mac and cheese? Uh, Joyce. How well do you know Joyce? I know her delicious grub. Everybody at the station comes here. We take care of this place like it's our own kitchen. And Joyce, like she's our... our mother. Chloe. So, you know Chloe? Sadly, we all know Chloe down at the station. <sighs> Poor Joyce. Just heard that Chloe even had a pot dealer in her room. Uh, yeah, that's not good. Uh, that's <laughs> not good. Anyway, mm, that bacon sure smells good. Is she a friend of yours? Um, I know her. I know her. Then you know she's a handful. She can be. She can be, but she can also be a good friend who shows up when you need her. Sounds like you're a good friend. I wish she would be a great daughter and not cause Joy so much stress. David. I guess you're friends with David Madsen. I wouldn't use that word. We know each other. Why do you ask? Uh, just curious. Just curious. I'm surprised he's not a police officer in Arcadia Bay. I have respect for David. He served his country. He found his calling in Blackwell. At the station, we're happy David is exactly where he is. <laughs> not everybody can be a cop. I have to go now. Enjoy your breakfast. By the way, one thing I can tell you for certain is to stay away from that RV outside. I usually stay away from sketchy parked vehicles. Wise policy. The guy who lives in it, Frank, is pretty sketchy himself. That's all I can say for now. I should finish up my coffee and get to work. Okay, okay. Hello, trucker. I don't feel like talking right now. I gotta deliver a load of breakfast to my stomach. <laughs> Over now. Fair enough. Hello. Uh, hello? Pardon moi, but you're in my eyesight. Everything's in eyesight. Isn't everything in here with an eyesight? I don't care for your tone. You sound like Joyce. How does Joyce sound? Bossy and smartass. Like you. Yeah, Joyce rules. Joyce rules? I want to be exactly like her when I grow up. Looks like you're on your way. I've been coming to this dive for three years, and Joyce gives me shit like it's going out of style. That's how she rolls. That's why I worship her every move. Good. I can't wait to see you flipping greasy bacon in a diner when you grow up. Exactly like Joyce. Now pardon me while I get back to my coffee. Yeah, sure. Alright, hey Justin. What's up, Justin? Getting my coffee on before I cut class and destroy some rails. Shouldn't you be taking photos? I am. I am always taking photos. I am a camera. You cracked me up, Maxer. Of course I'm baked. So I'll laugh at anything. You should be studying, bad boy. So where's all your homework, schoolgirl? School. Speaking of buds, I saw your bro Trevor sneaking out of Dana's room. Trevor finally told me about him and Dana hooking up. He got there first, so I snooze and I lose. See you later, Max. Okay. Hey, speaking of Trevor. Hey, Trevor. Holla, Max. By the way, I know you saw me at the dorm. Dana's room? Yeah, I saw you coming out of Dana's room. Yeah, and I finally had to tell Justin because, well, he was into her too. How did Justin react? I got him blazed. He was cool. Nobody has secrets in Blackwell anyway. See you in class, Max. Alright, to the loop. Alright, not quite done yet. There's a couple of other things that we want to have a mooch at first. Got a wall of fame here. <laughs> Forgot about the fishing wall of fame. Do, 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 do. No. I got you, babe. <laughs> How apropos. But no fucking way. Can I have a look at this picture, please? Can I have a look at the picture? Whoa, Ken Kesey with Joyce? That's so perfect. Alright, um... That's funny. Our family never went well watching. It looks fun. Alright, I think we're done. So let's have a sit down. And there she is. A lovely young woman. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. It's nice to see you again. You look the same. 
<laughs> like I'm still a waitress at two whales after all these years. No, like you still look pretty. Nice save, kid. <laughs> You're still smart. But not that smart. Now you get busted for smoking pot. <laughs> I heard the whole sordid story from David. I'm sorry this was how you had to meet him. He's a good man. No matter what Chloe says. Yeah, I'm sure. I don't even smoke, like, ever. It was almost an accident. It was very stupid. I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, it surprised me fierce. I was hoping you could be a good influence in her life now. I will be. Promise. I know things were hard for you and Chloe. I feel bad I didn't call. Now my folks are in Seattle and I'm all alone at Blackwell. It's my karma. You did the right thing. You moved forward with your life. I did after William passed on. Chloe? Chloe chose to stay angry. Anyway, I hope we see more of you. Chloe needs an old friend again. Joyce, I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. I'm glad, Max. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Even if Chloe doesn't understand yet. Um... Chloe understands. Chloe understands. She just needs time. I know that sucks for you. Oh, she hit all the phases. Expulsion, running away, drugs, bad boys, tattoos, piercings, blue hair. <laughs> now she's got to rebel against her stepfather. I see why, I mean. Do you? He's not as much of a hard ass as you think. But you did tell him you had a joint, right? You took that responsibility? I did. I did. And I am sorry. I don't want Chloe in any more trouble. Or me. Nobody's in trouble over a doobie, Max. And I admire that you took the heat for Chloe. Like a great friend. But Chloe does push David, and it's not fair. He paid his dues in a war. He does care about her, along with all the students at Blackwell. I get it. I get it, Joyce. I know Chloe still likes to stir things up. Yeah, she does provoke people, especially David. I just want us to be a family soon. I guess it's all about time. I think you're right, Joyce. So, now let's get down to the nitty gritty. What do you want to eat? Ooh, ooh, I could eat both of those. Let's go for a bacon omelet. I was dreaming about your bacon omelet. Now finish your coffee. Want something good for breakfast. All right. Welcome to the world. The only thing that's changed on the menu are the prices. Hmm. Oh, that's really nice. Oh yeah. I love nerd graffiti. Warren must have been here. I've never actually eaten in a diner. Like, and I really want to at some point. Like, it just seems one of those things that I just want to do. This is like fourth dimensional deja vu. I keep going back in time. A diner, not a bar. No beer? <laughs> Looks like you had plenty. Stick with bacon. <laughs> Alright. Let's go in the next side. Looks so mysterious. I wish I could stay in this moment forever. I guess I actually can now. But then it wouldn't be a moment. What kind of dive is this? Okay. Incoming. Oh, seems this like This is food. like fourth dimensional day. Yeah. You'll love this. I'm drooling like a baby. Still can't believe you're a woman. When I look at pictures of Chloe, ugh. Speak of the devil. Mom and Max, together again. And Chloe looking for a free meal. You put your whole damn college fund on your tab. I'm treating Chloe for breakfast. Are you atoning for yesterday? Oh god, Mom, please do not give Max any shit for that. She apologized. I know she did. Max is a good girl. A woman. 
She's 18 now. Too old to get lectures from you or Sergeant Pepper. Call him David if you don't want to be lectured. You only get one damn slice of bacon a day. Ooh. Isn't that just a kick in the teeth? You guys are still the same. Another reason to blow this town. What is this shit on the jukebox? Now that that's out of the way. Let's talk about your superpower. I don't have any explanation. And I can't explain why I saw that crazy fucking tornado. Come on, that's just a daydream. I want proof you can rewind time. This is all happening so fast. We'll start slow. Right here, now. Mm, I can tell you every single thing you have in your pockets. You have x-ray vision, dude? I don't even know what's in my pockets. Let me see. Okay, Max. Impress me. Um, keys. Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. Um, bullet. A bullet, just like your necklace. That was so wrong, Max. Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pockets. Okay. That was beyond epic fail. You even made me want to believe you. Okay, Max. Study every item carefully and don't forget anything. This is a panda keychain. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cigarettes. What's that? What's that? Seventy-five. Eighty. One, two, three, four, five, six, eighty-six cents. Um, parking ticket. From the 21st of September, 10.34. Alright. Let's give that another go then. See if we can remember it this time. <laughs> what the hell? Okay, Max. I'm hella ready. Oh, that was hilarious. Your car keys. Yeah. Duh, wait. Uh, it was a panda. A cute robot panda keychain. Not bad, Super Max. You do have that Irish luck, Caulfield. What else? Cigarettes. I'm pretty sure you have cigarettes on you. Yes, you know I'm a smoker. But how many cigarettes? That would be a seven cigarettes. Seven cigarettes. A superpower that allows you to count cigarettes. Cool. Amazing. Something else in my pockets? You got some money? Hmm. Some money. Clearly I'm rich as fuck. How much do I have? 86 cents. 86 cents. That's right, living large in Arcadia Bay. So that was cool. Show me more. Parking ticket. A parking ticket. You know me well. But what is the exact time I was busted? 10.34. 10.34 a.m. Booyah, Max can tell time. Booyah. Tut mind is blown. Amaze balls. I literally just got chills all over my neck. You have powers. I'll take that crap off the table, Chloe. Sure, Mom. How's the food, Max? Nice. Better than I remembered. Very good save. Man, I'm hungry like the wolf. Clearly. I am freaking out about what just happened. You, you have to show me more. Something way cooler so I will believe you without any doubt. I will predict the future. Mm. No way. Now, pay attention to everything that happens in the next few moments so you can dazzle Chloe with your mad power. Oops. Did you break another cup? Really? 
No refill for you. Shh. And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think our jukebox is headed for Davy Jones's locker. So, what are you waiting for? All right. I'm going to predict four events that will happen in the next 30 seconds or so. Uh, trucker drops his mug. The trucker drops his mug and Joyce rips him a new one. So, what happens next? Um... Alert on cops radio and his partner leaves. The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio and his partner in the car leaves without him. Well, let's just see how this goes down. Justin and Trevor fight and Joyce stops them. Justin and Trevor are fighting and Joyce breaks it up. This is getting good. Can't wait to see what happens. Drew goes crazy. Drew, go Drew box goes crazy as a cockroach crawls on it. The jukebox goes crazy as a cockroach crawls on it. Pretty bizarro, Max. But let's see if everything happens like you said. Alright, we're in a cutscene mode, so obviously we got it right. <laughs> obviously, sorry, conveniently I looked at everything just before it was about to happen, because obviously I know this. Did you break another cup? Oh, wait really? Go, Mom. No refill for you. Shh. Well, now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You called it. But he's off to go bust some skaters. You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. Damn. Trevor and Justin must be in love. You predicted a cockroach on the jukebox? <laughs> I pledge allegiance to Max and the power for which she stands. This isn't a toy, Chloe. I do have to be careful how I use it. Screw that. Of course it's a toy. The best toy ever? You can bang anyone with no strings attached, rewind time, and boom! It's like it never happened! Grow up. Maybe you made a move on me and I would never know. Yes, that's what I did. You can rewind time, Max. That's fucking insane. We have to play. I don't have time. <laughs> you did not just say that. Uh -oh. uh, check out your nose. Too much blow? Definitely. Hey, are you okay? Too much excitement. See what happens when we hook up again? Then, let's go to one of my secret lairs and fully test your power. You need a sidekick to guide you. Okay, girl wonder. Show me the way to Chloe's cave. Hey, finish that damn breakfast. Or at least give it to me, because I'll finish it. Alright, let's go. Okay, Supergirl, let's go to my secret place. Don't even answer. We have places to go and people to do. Come on, before Mom starts some more shit, let's bail. It's Kate Marsh from Blackwell. Big what? You don't call me once in five years, and now you're all over some biatch you see every day at school? I see how you roll. So go ahead, chat up Kate Marsh from Blackwell. I've got other people to hang out with, too. Oh, yeah, well, hell you are, answered the phone. She's depressed. Jesus, it's gonna hey, be Kate. for her. Be What's there up? For her. Please, don't let your best friend get in the way. You okay? I promise, Kate. I won't forget. I swear. Just do your homework and don't stress. I really don't think we should go into this right now. I'll call you later, okay? Thanks, Max. If you'd rather chill with Kate, please, go ahead. You are ridiculous. I'm chilling with you, okay? For now. Let's rock. Alright, well, we definitely need to wrap this up. We're nearly... But we probably are going to go a little bit over time. Sucks that Chloe and Joyce got into an argument. Yep. Yeah. Alright, so let's quickly go over what we've got. So, new pages. Um, so just have a pause and a read if you're interested. Okay. We have a bio on Joyce. Picture-wise, that's what we've picked up today. And... Got all these from the diner. And I think we might have picked something up from over here as well. Yeah, just these two. 
Alright, and we got some texts from private number. Alright guys, that's where we're going to end it for today. In the next episode, we will follow Chloe to her secret lair and see what there is to see. But I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And also be sure to share the video. And I'll see you guys in episode 7. Bye guys.